This is Craig Stewart's Raceworks in San Diego, California. Their off-road luxury pre-runners are the best in the world. The latest is being built for the Tisco race team of Gary and Mark Wyrick, the world's first Ford Raptor luxury pre-runner. I think people around the world understand what a luxury pre-runner really is and what they're capable of doing. Everywhere we go, I mean, if you pull up next to a Ferrari, our trucks stand out. I mean, they're incredible machines. They're uh, different, they're exotic. They do things that no other car in the world can do. In Santee, California, Stewart's Raceworks believes two is always better than one. The stakes are high in the off-roading game, and doubling down is reserved for the most fearless of players, guys like Mark and Gary Wyrick. The first truck was Mark's to start with, and then about 80% uh, of the way through the build, Mark gave it to Gary, basically. Um, because he likes them, I guess. They're all good. Gary's gray truck did uh, two trips down to La Paz with no problems, and they were static with it. Everything went perfect. Then we got down by San Felipe, where it's just all tore up from all the races down there and stuff. Put it in fourth gear and just 80 miles an hour. And it would go faster, but it's just not worth going any faster, just pre running. And it was, I was, that's when I was, in fact, I called Craig that night and go, man, this thing is awesome. So now we're at getting near the Bob 500, and we're finishing Mark's truck. This is number two of the big build, and uh, we're very excited about it. It's coming up very nice. With Gary relentlessly pounding his pre-runner through the deserts of North America, brother Mark's takes center stage back at the shop. Even though it's the second one, their method hasn't changed. It's still one of a kind. Everything is handmade like the first. Experience is the only help you'll find out on the edge. There are no telephone operators managing helplines. There are no catalog numbers or bolt-on solutions. There are no chat rooms with the answers. As these guys create and assemble this second prototype, everything comes together once again. Then it's torn apart and sent out for paint. And raw metal finally gets its skin. We got the chassis back from paint. Once everything was masked off, we went through and shot our liner. So that's going to protect the undercarriage and uh, the firewall. It's going to protect it from a little bit of heat. It helps the rattling. And while it's setting up, I'll actually unmask it so that way the tape is easy to, uh, to take off in those junctions where I want a clean tube right next to a coated panel. And it gives it a nice finished look. These are uh, all the pre-built main harnesses that I uh, pre-made for the truck. So they're the just of everything that's going in. And then I will terminate everything to like switch panels, breaker panels, and all of that after it's in. But I could pre-make everything based on the other truck, and then everything will kind of go in and be the same. We use this for uh, sound deadening, uh, helps with the noise vibration. You don't get any of that tin can effect and um, it resists heat up to about 500 degrees. And you can see on here, it completely deadens any tinning that would happen. This is our front air conditioning unit. Both uh, front and rear have uh, climate control. We're gonna have two ducts come out right here on each side of the, uh, the center Motec GPS unit. So we're going to be pumping cold air out here and then our rear AC is mounted behind the back seat and that's going to pump air out through the top of the cab so that way it circulates the whole cab. You know, in off-road, it's the innovation that uh, pretty much puts you at the forefront. If you uh, aren't thinking ahead, you know, you're just going to get left behind. I love this truck. It's the first full cage Raptor that I know of in the off-road world.
Yellow is the new gray, Lamborghini yellow to be precise. A stunning yellow paint job reminds the guys at Stewart's Raceworks that this truck is indeed number two. The same in every way, but with a signature all its own. They've managed a complete assembly while avoiding an assembly line. The truck is tested and focused without standardized tests or focus groups. Innovation and adventure have, for the moment, replaced procedure and tradition. And as this one gets ready to attack the open desert, another impossible idea becomes possible. When I was young, I worked for a guy named Johnny Johnson. He and my dad, Ivan Stewart, probably had the first real pre-runners ever in the industry. Well, I built the one for Johnny Johnson, and then I maintained the one for my dad for years. So I guess I've been around him my whole life. It's a kind of a, you know, my passion, I guess you want to call it. I really like doing real quality cars. Because the race cars get kind of heavy duty, brutal kind of a beast, where these are more creative, I guess. The reason customers buy these trucks is uh, a lot of times they own trophy trucks, so they want to pre-run in a truck very similar to what they're racing in, yet not quite so hardcore of a race car. I mean, they want to not wear helmets and have the air conditioner, yet have a feel just like the race truck, which is what these things truly are. Basically a true trophy truck, two frame chassis, 600 horsepower, 600 foot pounds of torque. Uh, 26 inches of wheel travel in the front, 32 in the back. The way we set these trucks up are for an incredible ride quality because you spend hours and hours and hours in them pre-running. We also put in leather interiors and air conditioning and sat phones and GPS's. The trophy truck is, is definitely a lot rougher. I mean, it really knocks you around. We're getting into this. This is just, it's like being in a car. It's smooth, it's, <laughs> it's, it's amazing. <laughs> Our market is changing because we're going after people all over the world who really, really want a top-of-the-line, well-built vehicle. I mean, there's tons of people who just really, really respect and love cars, and this is one of the very, very best men on Earth.